We were very careful and intentional to ensure that their job descriptions would be to meet the needs of classroom teachers as they identified what those needs were. So a day as a teacher leader can vary depending on if you're elementary, middle, or high school. Uh, we're all in the classrooms, so on any given day you could walk in and you'll see a teacher perhaps teaching in the morning, and then they're released in the afternoon to assume their teacher leader responsibilities to work with teachers. Um, myself, this past year, I had worked on opposite days. So one day I taught full-time, and on the next day I was a full-time teacher leader. Well, each principal might have different ideas in terms of what they might want, and we've been really careful around around um, developing people in their understanding of what the whole intent behind teacher leadership is because the intent is really to use that off time to meet the needs of the teachers that they're working with. It could be looking at assessment scores, we do that at times. It could also be the way they're implementing the modules here in Greece. They might want help um, looking at learning targets and seeing if they're aligning assessments to meet those learning targets. We are implementing the models, the modules ourselves, so then in turn we know what supports we need to have in place to support our colleagues. Same thing with the APPR. We still get evaluated the same as our colleagues, so we know what that process is like and in turn we could support our colleagues. The teachers come to us and seek us out as teacher leaders and as we build relationships in the buildings and with the teachers that we're working with we push into classrooms we see what's going on and we'll offer a lending hand. In turn we'll sit down with the administrator and talk about what's taking place curriculum wise in the building and what we feel we could use and to advocate for those teachers to better their practice in the classroom. So what's critical to that is that at each of the buildings, the, the teacher leaders have good relationships with the principals and assistant mm -hmm. principals in each of the schools. And they have regular time where they sit down and talk about how their work is going. So when they get feedback or when they start hearing themes emerge from the teachers, they're able to sit down and really think about how they can address that. Um, what opportunities throughout the day, whether it be their professional learning communities or whether it be a staff meeting or whether it be something more job embedded that they might need, um, that they're able to advocate and get that s set up and structured for the teachers to respond. Everyone's been to that traditional faculty meeting. It's the principal stands up every week and it's pretty much about announcements and operations and not the most exciting. But at one of our high schools, our teacher leader team got together with the administrators and as a leadership team, they decided to revamp the professional learning for their building. They started at the, our leadership academy in the summer, they started working out a plan to collaborate on plans for making that staff meeting every week into a really true professional learning experience for their staff. So one of the things they did is they uh, started with a literacy initiative and they got every staff member at the staff meeting working to define literacy, to talk about what it looks like for their particular department or area, and they got the teachers working together in teams in a very interactive, professional learning scenario that engaged every staff member. Very different from a traditional faculty meeting. And it was pretty much a teacher-leader-led initiative, and they continued to do that kind of work throughout the year. The feedback from the staff was excellent. They really appreciated being engaged in that sort of way. It was much more interesting to them and they felt, I think, more collaborative working together. One of the teachers from that building told me she had been working in the building for 23 years and it felt totally different to her to experience a faculty meeting in this way.